everyone, it's your girl Karina Dean, aka I of Karina, and in this video, I am continuing my series on Lilith and Aries. Don't mind the little white that you see in my hair, I'm just conditioning my hair. And um, in the shower, I was thinking about all of the things that Lilith and Aries really embodies and um after all the studying and that i've done research that i've done i also have this natal placement so i really want to come from also an experience point of view the biggest thing to understand about lilith in general is that it is a rejection energy right because lilith is about being the outcast being um in hebrew stories like Adam's first wife, right? So it's about a side of us that is rejected. And so Lilith is the dark goddess, right? It's chaotic energy. And it's also really deep within us. It's our shadow side. Um, so if you have Lilith and Aries, these are some of the energies that you possess. And they aren't always very pretty because it's about being chaotic, right? So Aries is a sign that is about fire. And when Lilith is um, in Aries, the fire is muted until it is ignited by feeling like they have been attacked, offended, and outcast and are, are in a reactionary point of view, especially if you don't have a lot of fire in your main personal planets, right? Now, if you do, then it might show up a little bit more. And this is just a hot-tempered kind of energy. So if you do have a lot of personal planets in fire, then this comes up right away. And you might think that it is like the personal planets in fire, like let's say if you have Venus or the sun or the moon, those can tend to have a hot temper too. But both in Aries would have something that it is almost like eruption, eruption. like it's, it's coming out of nowhere and it is it's very like you feel it through your whole body right it feels like if somebody makes a um a notion towards you that ignites your lilith that makes you feel rejected it feels like your whole body is about to set on fire very often people with this placement can just overreact um or they just are scary or intimidating to people because people can see where they have the ability to overreact and if you don't have a lot of personal planets like the sun moon venus mercury and fire signs or your ascendant especially your ascendant right if it's not a fire sign and then your lilith is ignited people are very shocked by that anger so it is a it's like every it's like you have a ring of fire around you and it feels like the whole world is against you so this leads to more of like independent to almost a detriment and also wanting to prove to yourself that you can do things alone or that you don't need anybody else you know so a lot of times your love is is ignited if you're like look nobody is really worth me spending my time over nobody is worth me following i don't feel like there's anybody who's really taking the reins on leading me anywhere and so i'm gonna just do this by myself and that is a very much so love and aries energy the other thing is um competition and a lot of the times um you know there's a cliche that says something like you know compete with yourself and Lilith and aries excuse me, they can compete with themselves and it is a higher, you know, it's like a higher consciousness to do so, but Lilith and Aries really gets their kicks off of competing with other people, you know, because Aries is a sign that is ruled by Mars and it's about having a physical opponent that you can see, right? So a lot of the times you are ignited or you're going to kick into gear when you see something that um, is challenging you and you want to do it as well right um, so you have a very strong competitive nature and especially again Lilith is ignited when you are the outcast when you are rejected so especially if it's that person you know that enemy that perceived enemy that has rejected you they are now like you have an option to feel really bad but 
more than likely you're gonna feel like yes now it's my chance to take over and to to beat this person at whatever it is that they're good at and do it in your own way but do to do so so this can really ignite you to get started on something and when it comes to getting started like because Aries is the first so Aries wants to get started sometimes it takes like being in this position of being very um reactionary in order to get started so you might have an issue with starting things or, or feeling like I'm not sure when to start until your anger is ignited right so the darkest side of this energy is that you can be violent or you can be intimidating or threatening to people because you have this this energy like you will get violent right if you don't actually get violent or if you're if you don't perceive yourself to be a violent person you can still omit this energy that you should be careful you also might be very fearful of being like perceived as weak and so you might overcompensate for that so it's like pushing out masculine energy um, when it's unnecessary to do so um, and so a lot of this higher element is learning how to balance your masculine with feminine energy learning when to take the lead because it's not always about following but it is about knowing when the balance is right when to take the lead and when to to be more submissive and allow others to lead you that is a higher element of Lilith also in the competitive side a higher element of Lilith is um, being able to compete with your older self and seeing where what you have gone and doing better than where you have been um, and there actually isn't competition can have a bad rap but there isn't anything really wrong with competing with others either it's just the feeling of feeling like forsaken that can sometimes be a detriment for you because that enemy or perceived enemy is not um, is not capable of budging from that position so um, a higher uh, a higher look of Aries is that you compete like how athletes compete on the field and then afterwards they shake hands you know but Lilith and Aries it's compete and you're still my enemy even even when the game is over right so that is the difference between the higher realm of Lilith and Aries and the lower realm of Lilith and Aries. Another like more mature, uh, more conscious Lilith and Aries is somebody who wants to bring the truth, right? Who cannot lie and who needs to be authentic with what they're they're bringing. Because um, Aries is is not a um, like a true shadow energy it is actually the spring energy so to actually eliminate the shadow to a degree which is to eliminate shade to eliminate secrets and to bring things out in the open that's also a mature side to Lilith and Aries so if you like um, what I'm doing with the Lilith and Aries uh, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and let me know if you'd like to hear more or what are your questions about this also check me out i have a new music channel and i'm releasing an astrology themed ep and i'm really excited to bring it to you this year so just look out there's so much more than i'm bringing to the table and i hope that you'll join me on the ride peace and love